dear audience so today i will be sharing my um, one of my invited uh, talk with you uh, which is related to the stakeholders engagement in project management so here we will see that uh, what are the stakeholders and how can we engage in a project management perspective so uh, this is a little bit about me you can see okay so basically uh, first of all i would let you know about uh, certain projects in the world like you know uh, one of the uh, one of the project which was started in 1394 to 1460 by prince henry of portugal and uh, he established a school for the study of the navigation map uh, making and shipbuilding in 1420 and his goal was to find a route to the rich spice trade of the indies and to explore the west coast of africa so um, just to because we know that project is a is of specific durations right so it has a special it has specific uh, starting and specific ending so you can also see that the popular project they have also specific starting and ending and this is another example of uh, great pyramids of egypt it started like you know before christ 2700 years to uh, 2500 years so that is like you know uh, specific uh, because here we have to like you know decrement the dates right because we are going we are counting from before christ yeah the another one is the great cathedral uh, churches in the europe you might have seen in in germany and other parts of the europe the grand canal of china also like you know uh, it's still there and uh, it was also a great project uh, no arc is also considered to be uh, one of the uh, most um, uh, popular project of humanity by no profit no and then we have like you know petersburg russia oh the another project is petersburg russia projects from 1700 to 3 to 1730 uh, this is another example of the great projects tower of uh, babel babylonian area and other projects signing of magna carta is also a great projects uh, related to the british era uh, impress uh, catherine the, uh, the great of russia and so another project so the, now if you come to the modern projects uh, these are could be like lewis and clark expeditions with canal Panama Canal and the Transcontinental Railway Roads, Omaha, Nebraska, and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So, if you look at the modern project management, usually uh, it starts uh, with the different categories like uh, project time management is important, cost is important, quality of management, scope are very much important to define the scope, otherwise, you cannot finish the project in time. Uh, risks is very like you know uh, it seems auxiliary point but it's like very very important for the projects uh, to be finished in time and to be under the control of the budget procurement management quality management human resource management and the last but not the least the integration of the all management so this is about the pmi categories of project management and this is one of the typical um, project management uh, sheet which is uh, which tells you about like you know in how many months we can finish the project and what are the different uh, parts of the project yeah for the high performance traits that if you seen that the 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 project should be of uh, like you know uh, the project team member should perform in a good way so the member should have like you know membership self development innovative behavior risk sharing commitment effective communications effective cross-functional interfaces, minimal uh, reliance on procedure, high need for achievements, enjoy work, high morale and team spirit, change oriented, self-directed conflict management and high response rate. So these are like, you know, the, the best traits for a high performing team. And these are required for when you are doing like, you know, uh, managing your stakeholders. Uh, now, if you look here at the, what are the PMI knowledge areas, uh, so one of the PMI knowledge areas is the stakeholder, like, you know, management. Mm, so the, that is why it is important, uh, the stakeholder management, because uh, uh, you need to identify, like, you know, all people, organization that is, like, you know, affected by the project. And furthermore, you need to analyze who are your stakeholders, what are their expectations, and how to engage them uh, perfectly 
so uh, change and organizational impact yeah so project like you know often cause like you know changes uh, as it is expected some people may lose the jobs when the project is completed so uh, you need to engage that people who who after the after the project has been ended so you should engage them for the next project or you should like make a contract with them project management must learn to identify uh, to understand and work with a variety of the stakeholders that is like you know one of the kpis for a project manager so examples of the stakeholder impact, impacts uh, from uh, from cases to cases so project stakeholder management processes like you know uh, we need to identify who are the stakeholders okay planning with the stakeholders uh, uh, managing the stakeholders and then controlling the stakeholders so according to the pm pmi box so you can see these are the like you know uh, key areas in the stakeholder management so the first one is identify the stakeholder so what does it mean it means like you know you need to see that what are the internal project uh, stakeholders and what are the external project stakeholders those are involved so stakeholders mean those anyone who is involved in the project we are considered as a stakeholders additional could be like you know like program director labor union potential customers so we can keep a register uh, and that register we can include like you know basic information of the stakeholders like for example their names their positions whether they are internal or external or whether they are what are their like projects roles and specifically contact information you can classify the stakeholders um, like you know uh, with respect to different levels like unaware stakeholders resistant stakeholders neutral stakeholders supportive and the leading okay so a power of interest grid can be used to group the stakeholder based on their level of um, like authority and their level of concern uh, which we call as interest for the project outcome so this like you know this uh, uh, the matrix which you can see here so it can show you the the relationship between the interest and the power as well right so um, you can see that who are like you know uh, keep satisfied and who are like you know manage closely and so with respect to the different points you can see that how uh, how things are like you know moving so if both are high uh, in that case so it means high interest and high power so manage closely but if it is low interest and high power so keep satisfied but if it is low interest and low power so it's you need to do monitoring and if it is high interest and low power so I keep informed right so this is like you know just to make a an idea to the stakeholders uh, sample stakeholder um, analysis uh, if you see over here what are the st stakeholder analysis so this is one of the example that for example is Stephen is for example both high high so high high means like you know with respect to the power he has more power and he has more interest so in that case he should be the leading so Stephen the potential management strategies could be Stephen can seem intimidating due to the uh, his physical uh, stature and and deep voice but he has a great personality and sense of humor he previously led a similar refinery upgrade program at another company and known what he wants manage closely and ask for his advice as needed he likes short frequent updates in the person so this is about the stephen with the high high now if we see with the Mm, with the the last one the bestie one okay or let's suppose with the chain which is like you know resistance so it is high and medium the chain is very organized yet hard-headed man he has been pushing corporate id standards and the system the pm and uh, sponsor deborah and stephen like best goes against those standards even though it's the best solution for the project and company as a whole need to convince him that this is okay and the people still respect his work and position so you see over here the different traits and engagement uh, strategies now if you look at this one planning stakeholders management after identifying and analyzing the stakeholders project team should develop a plan okay so if the plan is there and then manage it so limit availability uh, restrict to who prepares it don't try it everything down Managing stakeholder engagement, like you know, project success is often measured in the terms of customer, yeah, sponsor satisfaction. So this is a, one of the matrix of expectation and management matrix. So you can see over here with respect to the 
uh, scope, okay, uh, with the priority, with the expectation and the guidelines, okay. Yeah, logs, uh, logs are very important. So issue logs, so you need to write uh, whatever, like you know, the status of a project or the or the collaboration with the stakeholders, whether it's a closed or open, what is going on, and some write comments. So for example, if you see the last comment, almost finished, needed requirements categorization first, right? So issues should be documented in issue logs. What are the different issues and who are going to solve? What is the priority? High, medium, low, date, right? Reported by whom, right? Impact, we cannot do much, right? And the description of the issues. Best practices means like project managers are often faced with the challenges, especially in managing stakeholders. So suggestion for handling these situation include the following. Be clear from the start. Explain the consequences. Have contingency plan, avoid surprises and take a stand, right? So control, can you control the stakeholders? Why to control the management? Mm, so participation in kickoff meetings is very important. Meet beforehand with the key stakeholder, engage activities and deliverables through the project. Stakeholders uh, as a key project team members, okay, that's most important. Like um, some of the ID projects import stakeholders are invited to become a member of the project like Northwest Airlines and Rest Nature. So a summary to summarize, this is the summary of this uh, whole presentation. Uh, managing stakeholder is now the 10th knowledge area in the PM box. Before there are only nine, but now the 10th one is the stakeholder management. And process includes like identify stakeholders, plan stakeholder management, manage stakeholder engagement, control stakeholders engagement, right? So thank you very much and see you in the next uh, invited talk.